This is Squishy. He's a jellyfish, but he can't sting. This is a problem for a little jellyfish like Squishy because he can't seem to fit in with the rest of his jellyfish classmates. Haha, ha, Squishy can't sting. What do you mean you can't sting? All jellyfish can. It's like our thing. Sorry, Squishy. I'm not friends with any jellyfish that can't sting. That's just weird. It's not my fault that I can't sting. I've just never been able to. Poor Squishy. He just can't understand that he has a simple mutation. Hello? Who is that? Wait, you can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Hey, what's that word doing over there? Mutation? What's that? A mutation is any change in your DNA that could possibly affect any of the characteristics that you have. DNA? I've heard of it, but what is it? Inside of the nucleus in all of your cells right now, you can find DNA. DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid, and it codes for all the characteristics that make up an organism. In this case, you. DNA is made out of the nucleotides, which look like this, and are made out of three pieces, a sugar, phosphate, and a nitrogenous base. Whoa, cool! Where does DNA come from? Your DNA came from your parents' DNA. You started off as one cell, and then that cell copied itself over and over to create more specialized cells, which form tissue, and so on, until you formed a whole organism. What does this have to do with me not being able to stink? I think you should go ask Miss Ray. She's the expert on stinging cells and how they relate to DNA. Okay. Hey, Miss Ray. Hello, Squishy. How are you? Not too good, Miss Ray. I'm really confused about how jellyfish sting works, since I can't sting at all. Don't worry, Squishy, I can teach you all about how a jellyfish stings. First of all, jellyfish have stinging cells on their tentacles called nematocysts. You're in luck since I just drew up a diagram of them for our lesson tomorrow. These stinging cells shoot out a thread of venom, which is why it hurts when other jellyfish sting something. Here's a video of this happening. I can do that, but anyways, I came here to ask why I can't stay. Well, you're going to have to do some research of your own, but it might just be a mutation of the gene that codes for the complex thread. This gene, whole one a one provides instructions on how to make the venomous threads, which are made up of many collagens. Collagens are a group of proteins that strengthen and support many tissues in the animals such as jellyfish. Collagens are made up of a series of three proteins, glycine, proline, and another proline. So if I figure out how those are made, I'll crack the code to my mutation. Yep. Okay, Squishy, I have to finish planning le tomorrow's lesson. Tell me how it works out. <laughs> Miss Ray told me that I needed to figure out how DNA turns into protein. Specifically, glycine, proline, and another proline. Can you help me, Mystery Voice? Well, two things have to happen before DNA turns into a protein. Transcription and translation. DNA begins to code for proteins first by the process of transcription. Transcription turns DNA into mRNA, or messenger RNA, and takes place in the nucleus. The difference between DNA and RNA is that DNA has the nitrogenous bases adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine, while RNA just uses uracil instead of thymine. Also, DNA is double-stranded while RNA is single-stranded. But they both eventually code for proteins. First, an enzyme, a protein that helps to speed up this process, helicase, unzips the DNA. Then, another enzyme, RNA polymerase, helps RNA nucleotides line up along one strand of the DNA, following the base pairing rules. What are the base pairing rules? The base pairing rules for mRNA state that U matches up with A, G matches up with C, C matches up with G, and A matches up with T. Translation requires the mRNA to change the tRNA, or transfer RNA, then finally to the protein. The use of a ribosome is necessary to complete this process. Ribosomes are the protein builders or protein synthesizers of the cell. They are like little construction workers who connect one protein at a time and build long chains. The mRNA, tRNA, and the ribosome pieces all fit together to create the protein. The job of the tRNA is to carry the protein. A codon is a group of three nitrogenous bases, and they have to follow the base pairing rules also. Wait, I think I get it. So if there's any problems with matching up the base pairs in either transcription or translation, that could be my mutation. That's called a point mutation, since it only involves a couple nucleotides.
Actually, hmm, I have an idea. Tag, hear it. Tag, hear it. Good thing you can't sing, or this wouldn't be very fun. No, right? Jellyfish never play this game. Hey, we want to play some tag. Yeah, can we play? Sorry, no singing tentacles allowed. Not being able to sing is pretty cool now, huh? Fine. Tag, tag, you're it. 